Hi, and welcome back. Uh, we are excited to show you another of our Biotech Builder training videos that we're posting about quarterly now. Um, this one uh, will be led by my wonderful colleague, Hiroko, who has done most of the curriculum writing, and she is a wonderful scientist and a great educator. So I'm very excited to have her lead this lesson. Uh, she will take you in the lab and show you uh, one of our labs, which is involved in uh, solution making. It's part of the lab skills module. Uh, this one involves making a xylene science stock solution, so a blue dye stock solution. Uh, this blue dye will get used in this module for serial dilutions and for the determination of a uh, concentration of an unknown. Uh, solution making comes back time and time again. Uh, there are multi-solute solutions that we teach. Uh, there are solutions that get made to isolate plasmid DNA. Uh, there are serial dilutions of materials that we make regularly. Uh, so making of a stock solution uh, is an important skill and uh, I would urge you to watch her. She does so many great tips and tricks along the way. Um, so from things like how to label the tube so that it's clear and so colleagues could know what's in it, uh, all the way through to how do you uh, use a top loading balance um, and accurately weigh a very small mass on top of that, uh, and then how do you rinse out the weigh boat so that that small mass uh, all goes into the stock solution. Uh, lots of great things to see here, lots of applications of the making of a solution, uh, very well aligned with micro-credentials and the kinds of lab skills that individuals need if they're going to go into an entry-level job uh, or even an advanced job in uh, in the sciences and in the biotech industry. So I will turn it over to Hiroko now. So the first thing, the protocol is laid out so that in the lab skills portion, many of the steps about labeling are individually uh, written out. So the first task is to label the 10 milliliter transport tube with information. And it would be um, a good, so we've completed step one. Number two, add two milliliter water from the water wash bottle using the volume markings on the side of the tube. So thing, the thing about xylene cyanol is that it's a, very, uh, it's a very dark pigment. And so normally, or in the videos that the students have watched, the students are being asked to make the solution in a beaker and then uh, calculate and adjust the volume up to uh, the desired volume using a graduated cylinder. However, for this one, we are thinking that it will stain all the equipment um, that you may have, and so we're going to directly have the students make these solution in this transport tube. So the idea is to add water up until the two milliliter line, and that helps, and pre-adding the water in this case is going to help dissolve the xylene, xylene cyanol solution a little bit better. So the next step is to weigh out 0.03 grams of xylene cyanol powder. So we'll take a weigh boat. Set this to zero. And this is xylene cyanol. Spatula or scupula. Um, 0.03 grams is quite a small amount. And so what you want to have the students do is to take a little bit of the powder on the spatula and gently tap the handle of the scupula to drop the reagent off a little bit at a time. It's almost at 0.03. Great. So now what you want the students to do is to transfer the powder into this tube that has two milliliters of water. And to help assist doing that, 
these way boats can be bent in, in diagonal like this. And so this could be used as a spout to drop the powder in. And so here we go. And you can have the students just kind of gently tap to make sure you get all the powder as much as they can. And they can close the cap for now. And you can see that it's immediately turning. Let's see, maybe I can put it against something white. And you can see that it is turning blue. Now, the next thing you want this, to have the students do is to try to see if they can get this um, excess powder that's on the way boat into this. And to do that, you can rinse with the, the water, um, either using a squirt bottle like this, or again, with a transfer pipette. They want to bring the total volume up to six milliliter. And so just be careful to have the students add in a little bit of water at a time, maybe about a mil or so. And so I will do a little squirt and you can see how dark that color is. And if you swish the water around carefully, you can dissolve the powder. Now again, you could, this way boat can be folded in half again, like a diagonal and use the corner as a spout to transfer the blue liquid. The students can repeat this one more time, but um, kind of be mindful of where the volume is at that point, because if it's getting close to six already, you don't want to be doing this again. Um, but I'm going to do this one more time. Swish it around. Probably just, this is the last time. And repeat it again. I'm gonna have to put this down this time. Half. And transfer that volume. A little bit that's left, there's really not much they can do about it. This is okay, I'm gonna leave this behind. Now what the students want to do is to bring this volume up to six using the writing on the side. And once they have six milliliters in, you can turn the tube upside down, make sure the cap is securely fastened and um, have the students turn this upside down to thoroughly mix. And so that was, and now this is xylene cyanol, 10 millimolar concentration that was made on this date by me. And that would be it.